Good morning and a happy Monday morning to each and every one of you. Uh, today we are continuing with Mass Effect 3. As part of the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. I had a great weekend. Thanks again for being understanding that I couldn't do my broadcast on Friday. But I hope I made up for it with my lore video on the weekend and uh, the photo gallery of my new Deathclaw head mount. That's right, I got the Deathclaw head mount from the Bethesda shop and uh, I published uh, photographs of it to Twitter and Facebook, so if you're interested, you can go check that out. Ending that I couldn't do my broadcast. All right, let me go get the chats up here. Uh, got a good show for you today. I'm a little bit late. I um, had a late start with my workout routine this morning and and, oh uh, man, trying to uh, get back into the swing of things after the holidays is just brutal. It's rough. I feel like it's taking me twice as long to get through each exercise. But I'm getting through it. I'm hopping back on the wagon. And I will get there in time. Thank you for your patience. Well, it's good to see everybody on Facebook today. Toby, Jocelyn, uh, Ryan, and Matthew Ryan. Matthew, with a donation of stars, says hello to the great and powerful Oxhorn. Thank you, Matthew. I, I shall be great and powerful for you. And then on YouTube, it's good to see all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon subscribers. Ethan H. with a gold derby. Sarah, Julian Z. with a gold derby. HDN XO, Jersey, Automatic Beats. Craig Euler, Quinn Tyus with a gold derby. Trezo with a gold derby. Survivor from the old era. Shinnanator with a gold derby. Salati Bartfest with a gold derby. Steven Ambrosio with a gold derby. Courtney Zayas, Bingo Bill, Wayne Azing, John DeGiam Berardino, and uh, Jocelyn Ryan on Facebook with the donation of stars. Late start here too, so can't stay for the stream. Happy Mass Effect Monday. Thank you, Jocelyn. No worries, my friend. Get what you got to get done, done. And then Kin Cold Blood with a first super chat on YouTube for the day. Hey, Ox, hope your family is doing good. My cousin just recovered from COVID. She's doing good now. Well, uh, that's wonderful that she has had a successful recovery from COVID. Sorry that she had to catch it at all, but I'm glad that she's feeling a lot better. Now. Pavel says, sorry for uh, not being around lately. Got FEV 12 days ago when I was in Prague. So I had to spend quarantine all alone in my tiny Prague flat. No, no mood for people. I played Darkest Dungeon most of the time. Uh, well, I'm surprised you didn't play Planescape Torment, Pavel. <laughs> um, look, I, I, I'm sorry to hear about your diagnosis. I, I'm glad that you got out of quarantine. I hope you're feeling a lot better. And uh, I'll have to check out Darkest Dungeon, see if it would be a good fit. Now, today I am smoking a special Gurkha. This is a 15-year-old Gurkha seller, seller reserve. And uh, it looks pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it. It's got this sort of curling pig tail um, on the butt there. And then it kind of tapers to a point there. I believe this is called the Perfecto Roll of a cigar. One of my favorites. Julian Z says, Hi Ox, so good to see you on this Mass Effect Monday. Really enjoyed this weekend's lore video. Keep it up. Can't wait for more missions in Mass Effect. Yeah, me too. Eager to dive into them. The unknown planet with a sticker tip of a pear working out with a cup of coffee. I mean, yeah, I suppose that makes a lot of sense. Cheers to having a cup of coffee. Ah. Garrett on Facebook 
with a donation of stars says good morning ox random question or if you are in a hostage situation and you've got to get out alive you have to play gwent or caravan to leave which one would you play that you know you can win with no help at all caravan i actually did research learning caravan so that i could i could do my video on how to play it i ha i don't know how to play gwent i'm not interested in playing gwent i i hope i have never taken hostage and that this question becomes a reality because i don't think i could do it uh jackal wise says kitty kitty i saw a fluffy kitty behind ox oh really did the cat sneak in here Well, there's no way I'm going to be able to chase him down unless he wants to get out. So I suppose when he's ready, he'll come out and I'll find him and be able to get him out of here. Matthew Bryan on Facebook says, So Stepson managed to test positive for the dreaded FEV, but nobody else managed to thankfully have a great stream. Um, my condolences, Matthew. So sorry uh, to hear about your stepson. But I mean, the good news is his age. I'm presuming he's you know, a younger, a younger boy or a young man, and uh, so he's got that in his favor. And hopefully, he'll be able to recover quickly. Uh, I hope you and the misses are able to avoid get, uh, catching it yourselves, uh, and that it, the symptoms don't last very long. Thank you for sharing that with me. Let me know how things continue. The Raging Krogan says, Ox, Ox, your Mass Effect expert is here to guide you on your final journey journey into the Mass Effect universe. Well, thank you, the Raging Krogan. I am definitely happy for your guidance and everyone else's guidance. Matthew Ryan says he's fine, lol. He only tested positive. I mean, I'm glad he's fine. Testing positive is can be scary. Like, if my son tested positive, I would be very, you know, emotional. But I'm glad that he's got, he doesn't have any symptoms, and I'm glad he's feeling fine. Sarvis the Dro says, Hey, Ox, it was my birthday yesterday, and I got the gift of FEV. Tested positive today. Everyone is catching this. What the heck? So I'm off work another week after vacation last week. Sarvis the Dro, I'm sorry to hear that you uh, caught COVID. Um, I guess... I'm glad you get a week off work. That's good. Get a week off. Silver lining and all of that. Uh, sorry you caught it on your birthday, but happy birthday. Anyway, thanks for letting me know. Christopher Lowe says, Gwent is the best card game in a video game, in my opinion. Perfect balance of strategy required without being too long and drawn out. Well, I'll take your word for it. The few times I played Gwent, I really couldn't get into it. Whatever Tube says, Oxy, it's been too long. Going to work, so I can't be in chat, but I'm listening. Dude, I'm loving the new lore vids. You're about to convince me to buy 76. <laughs> well, uh, I hope uh, if you do, it's because you genuinely enjoy it. There is a lot to love about 76, in my opinion. And uh, I'm looking forward to continuing with this series. The Red Bee says, Greetings, Ox. Loving uh, the Mass Effect stream, not a spoiler. Take Javik to the Asari homeworld. It's a must. Hashtag cheers. Uh, yeah, if I have an opportunity to go to the Asari's uh, homeworld, I will definitely bring Javik. Whatever Tube says, Ugh, my bad. Uh, Enclave in space. Play on, sir. No worry. <laughs> no worries, whatever Tube. You are in chat, and, and I'm glad you're listening, and I hope you enjoy Fallout 76 if you choose to buy it. Uh, Matthew Bryan says he was sick for a couple of days, but that was it. We all had been vaccinated. Oh, well, that's great. So he still tested positive, but the sickness was minimal because he had been vaccinated. That's wonderful news. Thank you, Matthew Bryan. I hope he uh, feels better soon. Sounds like he's already feeling better. Pavel with a super chat on YouTube says, Torment fact, it's not coincidence that Chris Avalon characters in Fallout New Vegas, Ulysses, Rose Cassidy, have larger dialogue files than any other. All characters in Torment have Chris's attentive attention to details. 
Yeah, um, Rose of Sharon Cassidy is one of the best characters in Fallout New Vegas. Uh, she's conflicted, she's interesting, she loves the NCR and hates the NCR and hates the Legion and hates the Legion, while also admiring that the Legion can actually uh, patrol the roads. And uh, Ulysses, of course, is a fascinating character, and his dialogue trees are very epic. So yeah, I can definitely see that. Thank you, Pavel. Uh, Ken Coldblood says, I really like listening to your lore videos and streams during work. It prevents me from going crazy. Well, uh, I'm, it, it's, my broadcasts, I, I get that a lot. People watch my broadcasts at work or school and um, use them go, to go to sleep. All right, I hear a little kitty trying to get out of my office. That's my cue. I'm going to let him outside. One sec. There we go. Uh, Rats607 on YouTube says, Good day, Oxman. I just caught back up to watch you live. From Friday night to last night, I watched episodes 21 through 32. I'm pleased to be here to watch. Awesome. So you're, you're getting all caught up. Well, you're right where you should be. We're on episode 33 of Mass Effect, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what we get into today. Man of Warb says, the automotive engineering firm I work for does business with uh, a company named FEV. Really? <laughs> uh, uh, well, it sounds like that has given you a bit of a chuckle, Man of Warb. It would me as well if I was working for the same company. Jackal Wise says, my mom caught FEV, but me and my grandmother, who's 84, who live with her, managed to avoid getting it. I'm also really happy to be able to see you play Mass Effect. Well, sorry to hear about your mom. Hopefully she'll be on the mend. I'm grateful that you and your grandmother have avoided getting it. Thanks for the update, Jackal Wise. The Red Bee says, by the way, love the God of War stream. Can't wait until you get to the Valhalla Angels. Very difficult. I'm curious about playing more God of War. Perhaps I will continue with that series. All right, thank you all for your support. I suppose we should dive back into it. Uh, the Leading Man says, When is the next God of War stream? I haven't decided. Uh, possibly Friday. Possibly in a couple of weeks. I'm not entirely sure. Courtney Zaya says, Did Ox finally get a haircut? No, I did not. I finally started using hairspray. I haven't used hairspray since I was like a teenager in high school, but now that my hair is getting longer, it, if I don't use hairspray, it's all up in my eyes. So I gotta, I gotta sweep it to the side. The Raging Krogan says, Ox, I'm a bit worried about the Russia-Ukraine situation. I hope this doesn't lead to World War III. I also am concerned about the Russia-Ukraine situation. A situation I'm grateful that many of the NATO allies have um, had a firm response to Russia's aggression and sent troops to the Ukraine, even if it was just a token gesture. Um, it's an important one. I'm grateful for um, what Japan said uh, over the weekend after meeting with uh, President Biden. Uh, it seemed to have rattled Russia from what I read. They seemed to have been surprised by Japan's uh, condemnation of their actions but yeah it's a it's a troubling time it's really a bit freaky we can only hope that russia is just saber saber rattling i mean they have no hope of actually winning a world war three i mean unless they bring china into it but even then i don't, I don't think they even have any hope but china china is smart enough to avoid a world war three situation i think i think they're smart enough to to just not they, they, they definitely won't go to world war three over russia they won't so um, I don't think they'd be able to rub China into it. And Russia, I don't think, is stupid enough to try and take on all of the NATO allies. So I'm, I'm pretty sure this is just Russia saber-rattling and seeing what they can get away with. I mean, clearly the entire point... Well, here I am getting into politics. Sorry about that. But uh, clearly the entire point is they're trying to isolate many of the former Soviet bloc nations um, from the West. They're trying to uh, force NATO into saying that they're not going to protect former Soviet bloc members of NATO, essentially making them second-class citizens of NATO, which obviously no one in NATO can do. They can't do that. 
They're like, well, yes, you can come into NATO. Oh, but you're from the Soviet bloc. We're going to give you uh, half a gold star. We're going to give all of the other powers in NATO a full gold star. But you, you Soviet, former Soviet bloc guys, yeah, half a gold star. You know, if Russia comes knocking, eh, good luck. Yeah, I mean, what then would be the point of NATO, right? So, so I'm, Russia's completely unrealistic here. So it's not going to go well for them. Anyway, enough of that. It is definitely troubling. I, I, I don't think it's going to lead to a World War III situation, and I'm, I'm hoping that it'll resolve itself pretty soon. Rats607 says, I'm pleased to see that you have been, for the most part, making your own choices, and I apologize for the moments that may have been spoiled by excited fans. I hope you enjoy the rest of the story, my friend. Thank you, Rats607. Um, most of the story has been unspoiled for me. I feel like I'm going in without really knowing much, and I'm still curious and eager to find out what happens next. So I'm grateful for everybody who has hopped on to help me during the broadcast, and I'm looking forward to playing more of the story. Julian Z says, Ox, I think you left off on a quest for Kasumi. I think you have one more terminal to find. Try looking in places you've already been. Okay. Thank you, Julian. You're right, I was on the Citadel working on Kasumi's quest. I will try and tackle that as soon as I get in. Ken uh, Grafton says, Russia invaded Ukraine five years ago and everyone yawned. It won't be a World War III. Yeah, I mean, it was a slightly different situation. He annexed the Crimean Peninsula, the Crimean Peninsula, which had a lot of pro-Russian sympathizers there and pretty much just took over the infrastructure there. I mean, it was wrong. It was messed up. It was part of Ukraine, the Ukraine, but um, but yeah, everyone pretty much just yawned. yawned. But if, if he were to, like, take over Ukraine, just just attack Ukraine... That's kind of blatant, right? He's just he's just trying to build up troops on the border to try and intimidate the West. That's all he's really trying to do. If the West proves that they can't be intimidated, that's how you resolve the situation. If he if he proves to the world that the West can be intimidated by doing this, that would be bad. That's really the great danger. I don't think there is the danger of a World War III situation stemming from this, mainly because the geopolitical situation is very different now than it was during World War I and World War II. But uh, I think the greatest thing that the West can lose is if they allow themselves to be intimidated by Putin. If, if they allow that to happen, the whole world sees that. Iran sees that. China sees that. That would be a very bad thing. That's my only fear, really. Michael Y became a gold ox. Thank you, Michael Y. And uh, Jenny Doll Weber says, excited for today. I missed last week due to the flu. Sorry about that, Jenny Doll. I uh, hope you're feeling a lot better, and I'm, I'm glad you made it to the broadcast today. Martin Suspregi says, hi, ox. Just a little throwback joke for the la uh, from last stream. Oh, my God, you've killed Kelly. You bastard. Thankfully, we reloaded a save, and we saved Kelly's life. She didn't die. So, yeah, I mean, that would have been appropriate at that time. I'm grateful that she's still alive. Freddie Simmons says, uh, you won't see the uh, Asari homeworld, Thessia, until much later in the game. So no need to worry about it, though I concur that Javik should be one of your squad mates when that time comes. Awesome. Well, when it comes, I will do so. Thank you, Freddie Simmons. Man of Warb says, your thoughts on Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard? Yeah, I had this question asked in my last broadcast, and my response is that I'm just going to hope for the best. I mean, my... my I, 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 my heart used to be with Blizzard. I loved Blizzard from a very young age, and I loved all of their games, and I knew people that worked there, and um, to have seen the company become what it is today has just bro broken my heart, really, to see and to learn that, um, that uh, female employees were treated the way they were back when I loved them. The company, the, the greatest, has been really hard. It's been a hard pill to swallow. So, um, yeah, I, I don't really know if the Microsoft acquisition is going to change all of that. Company culture is a notorious thing, a notoriously hard thing to change, and I don't think an acquisition is, a, is, is necessarily going to do that. But uh, from a business perspective, it's going to be great to have Microsoft's money backing some of the new titles that are coming out of Activision Blizzard. Really, the only thing that I'm looking forward to is the new Diablo game. Uh, that is really the only thing they're working on that I'm excited about. Maybe Overwatch 2 a little bit, but that's really about it. Thomas McCormick says, I recommend uh, going to see the doctor on the Citadel. 
Uh, starts the game's most interesting and unique quest line. Can be done at any time, but I think you'll really love it. Cheers. Uh, you mean the one that we left? The one that we didn't, that we chose not to bring aboard the Normandy? The one in the uh, Huerta Memorial Hospital? That one? I mean, I was there earlier, but I could go back. Well, uh, I was told that I needed to go back to find the third terminal anyway, so... Yeah, we'll go back to the Huerta Memorial Hospital and look around, see if we can find that third terminal. Uh, and then um, see if we can talk to the doctor as well. All right. Wow, you guys really wanted to chat this morning. That's cool. I can dig it. Mergusen, what the heck? Mergusen, the Grove boss, says, Ox, when uh, going into the hospital on the Citadel, go to the right. Is a PTSD soldier that you can get a piece of their story each time you enter when going into the hospital. Thank you, Mergusen, Grobos. And then Stefano Nofke says, Hey there, Ox, here's a tip. Weapons can have alternative firing and other benefits. They might perform better even with lower stats. Try them and have fun. Thank you, Stefano. climbed out, I heard screaming. The metal wall started to move and I realized it was a leg. Only one of the Reaper's legs. Terry Williams says, as you pass through the hospital, try and listen in on the conversations going on. Some are relevant to some of your crew. I won't say who. All right, will do. Thank you, Terry. And then Thomas McCormick says, not medical doctor, sorry. The doctor located in the laboratory. Forget their names, but know it's in your quest log. All right, cool. Thank you for that clarification. Can I even get back here? No, it's just a guy patrolling. All right, so uh, let's see. We listen to that communication. We're looking for one more terminal. Um, can we get up there? Batarian State Arms. Batarian State Arms, wow. Kick shock harpoon gun. Please observe all cast restrictions when making a purchase. Assault rifle, shotgun, uh, shotgun smart, smart choke. Batarian shotgun State blade Arms. attachment. Defending the hegemony. High caliber barrel too. Stand strong for your people with Batarian State Arms. I don't know, it's expensive. Terminus arm or Batarian armor. State arms. Defending the hegemony. Yeah, I would go broke if I bought all of that. Okay. 
Let's check on those Medigel supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. We just got a report that another ship made it up. How many on board? 30 or 40 survivors. That's all. They said the fighting was getting worse. Well, let's find some room for them. This is going to be home for a while. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. Oh! We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting Reapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. You have a copy of a Shepard VI? Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. <laughs> Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Extranet says you're Alliance military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. 7%? <laughs> I come pre-installed with a flight sim of the SSV Normandy. Got any pets? You look like a Varen person. Always nice to see you. Hey again. Anyone ever tell you you're one hell of a looker, soldier? Don't be a stranger. I don't really sound like that, do I? Extranet says you're Alliance military. Take care of yourself out there, <laughs> officer. That's a great what uh, about connection. The we were promised. It's been allocated to the Presidium. Then contact Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vakarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. It's a great connection to Mass Effect 2. Remember, there was somebody smuggling Shepard VIs uh, on the Citadel. Uh, Freddy Simmons says, when you get a new weapon mod, you automatically get as many of them as there are weapons that they're compatible with. So you don't need to remove it from one weapon in order to attach it to another. Hey, that's great. Thank you, Freddy. Mm, and then, um, Garrick Anderson on Facebook with a donation of stars says, be sure to look for weapon kiosks on every level of the Citadel. Will do. Hey. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, pal. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See? Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I thought you were happy with your memories of KG. Hey, I'm nostalgic, not dead. Okay, so now we gotta go back to a previous kiosk? 
Well, that uh, I guess that would make sense based on what chat was saying earlier. Uh, Sarvis the Dro says, just a note, don't stress out about it when the chat is telling you that you missed a weapon or an upgrade. Things you must typically show up in shops after. Awesome, thank you, Sarvis. And Men of Warb says, have you played Renegade? Uh, that VI spouts a lot more bellicose stuff and asks to be installed in a mech. Had you played Renegade? Oh, I see. Thank you for that man of warb. And Rockland F says, when uh, when I am in chat, its accuracy moves towards 7%. That's, that's true. Truer words were never spoken, Rockland. All right, uh, well, I guess we need to go back to find some of our previous terminals. Then there's still a lot of the uh, Citadel that we now have access to that we haven't explored yet. Bow, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names. I've got it. A recent arrival. Zemendis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Nav point for his office. Five office suite here. Got to go back to the embassy. But how do I get over there? It looks like I could get over there. There are doors over there. Alright, back to the embassy. How do I get over there? Welcome, Commander Shepard. One please. moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Yes, I have spoken to you before. Why do you refuse to help me? If it is under attack, why the Assorted Company is crossing down the sea from Palavinador. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Garrick uh, on Facebook says, what would you rather get? Free weapons and equipment on in the field or in a store? Well, obviously, free weapons and equipment in the field. But it's also good to know that even if I miss them, I can always purchase them later. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. Wow. You big, stupid jellyfish. You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We're taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low-priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. <laughs> you may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. 
He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! What? What, is, what even is going on right now? She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors. And she just gave her life to save the Hanor homeworld. What? Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor. With a few friends. What? She's not dead. She. You can come out now. Yeah. How do you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're going to check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. Wow, that was and easy. Chef, nice working with you again. Ah, uh, well, I got a worse acid out of that, but I'm calling BS on that. Like, she, she trips some sort of security. She gets shocked, and then she disappears. Everyone knows she's a stealth assassin who can vanish. But Shepard just goes, oh, yeah, she's dead. And the other guy's like, well, I don't see a body, but sure, Shep, yeah, she must be dead. I don't know. Anyway, we got that done. Got some war assets, feeling good about it. Alright, chat was wanting me to go back to the hospital. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Briefly. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Because there's a conversation I need to hear. So, the nurse tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry. No. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Someplace unsecured. I could have a gun then, right? And no humans. And wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them? No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? What, what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. All right, so that was the conversation you were talking about. Shepard, please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. One moment, please. Dragon Fan says, Notice that Zymandus called now himself I and not Memorial it. Ah. We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. The enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of the big ones. And we were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. Just tell me what happened at Tiptree. Terry Williams says, depending on your actions in Mass Effect 2, should, could have died. I imagine so. Uh, Terry. And Ethan H. says, be on the lookout for a movie poster in the Presidium. Exhaust all of its dialogue for some really funny quotes. It's worth it. All right, thank you, Ethan. Well, I think we're done here for now. We'll pick up more of the PTSD Welcome, soldier Amanda story Shepard. as we continue to play the game. So we need to go to uh, Purgatory Bar to talk with um, Aria. What was her name? You the are highlighted on the elevator menu. Uh, and the Presidium. The docks holding area is just where we came from. So let's go to Presidium Commons for now. Please consult One them. moment, please. Now arriving.
arriving at Presidium Commons. Oh, this looks familiar. Ready to help defend the galaxy. Join the alliance. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired? I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying... You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, and it's good advice. Let's sign up as Med-10 volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. So would that have changed depending on which person I talked to? Canala expert. Charging for goods, denying refugees basic services. It seems the Reapers took our culture when they took our world. The Book of Plenix demands charity and forgiveness of debts in times of war. Of course, the Book of Plenix was lost in our home world, and now our people have lost their way. We got a journal update on that. A bit of lore. Secondary. Yeah, and this is growing too big for me to go through right now. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Sniper rifle, SMG, Kane Kedar gauntlets, blood At dragon Kanala armor. Exports, we believe that a peaceful heart. Reckoner knight. Koi fish, hey! Oh yeah, I gotta get fish. Cultivating serenity is possible even during times of crisis. We appreciate your visit. Uh, the Raging Krogan says, Ox, the weapons are known for being crazy high in Mass Effect 3, not to mention the DLC weapons now cost money. There is a mod that makes the prices better called Fender Pricing Overhaul. I recommend getting it. Thanks, the Raging Krogan, but I don't think I'll be doing a mod playthrough right now that changes fundamental game aspects. Instead, I can always just find weapons in the field. Josh Bunton says, Ox, if you haven't already, go talk to Liara in the markets if she is at the tables. Her remaining parent, blah, 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 missed dialogue. Okay, thank you that for that, Josh. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Ooh, carbine, SMG, Punisher, synthetic rifle, pistol, assault rifle, Elkos mod, Combine. barrel. If it exists, we can. Aquarium uh, 6. With so many exotic species of fish available in today's galactic market, it takes an expert credit. to maintain an ideal aquarium. This VI automatically dispenses food, adjusts the temperature, the pH, and Ask algae content of the water, warranties. and even talks to the fish when you're not around, leaving you free to enjoy your aquatic friends without fear Elkos of killing them. <laughs> if it exists, we carry it. All right, it's 25000 which is pretty pricey, but you know what? Fish are important. So. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Here we go. Please visit any of our Elcos Combine affiliate branches for any and all personal needs. Uh, Henakai Manso says, I love how unique the weapons can be in this game. Yeah, so do I. And Sean McElroy says, uh, what was your first game console and game on it? It was the Nintendo Entertainment System and the game was Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. Garrick on Facebook says, when you talk to civilians or authorize stuff at the Spectre office, it could have repercussions on the war effort. Choose wisely. Thank you. Will do. That's the Citadel Rapid Transit System. I think I'm ready to end it with him. 
Things were great even before he deployed. And if I pretend to be happy over the vents... It's not fair to him or to you. With all the craziness of a war going on, you deserve to be happy. And I'm not. I have to be honest with him. Then you need to tell him. Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. We need to start manufacturing military tech. Nobody will need banking software if these Reapers can. The market for military goods barely carries a profit. Who do you propose as our buyer? The Council, the Empire, maybe the Alliance. Even if we don't make much now, they'll remember us when the war's over. If we switch from financial VIs to military gear, we'll lose millions. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares and walk fine, but I'm not selling financial VIs while my home will burn. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling these at cost plus 3%. Fine. War profiteering. Well, a small fortune. Okay, so we got some options. We could go upstairs. A variety of places upstairs. We could go downstairs. Looks like this is the way to purgatory. I don't want to get all turned around. Um, Sean McElroy says, ha, I met favorite game on it. Cheers, seven months. Thank you, Sean McElroy. The Raging Krogan says, Blood Pack SMG is a decent SMG. You should get it. To Sanctuary, I mean. Sorry, I, I thought you were looking at the ad. Of course not. Sanctuary is a scam. What? Oh, count on it. Somebody's making money off people's fears. Wish I'd thought of it myself. Sanctuary? I don't see a sanctuary ad here. I see a purgatory ad. Um, I know what you mean. I thought our training prepared us for everything but this. Every time that Asari commando sees me, she just starts screaming. I can even hear it when I'm trying to sleep now. I'm supposed to be helping her, but I feel like I'm breaking her world all over again every time she sees me. It's not your fault. Any human would probably trigger that reaction for her at this point. No. I looked up the file on that colony she was at. That girl she keeps talking about? We look alike. I shouldn't even be allowed in to help anymore. Oh, that's the PTSD Asari. Oh, that's why her PTSD is being triggered. This human looks like the one that she was with. Uh, okay, tell you what, let's go upstairs real quick. Pyro is telling me there's a billboard I can interact with. He seems excited about it. Let's see what's up here. Blasto 6, partners in crime. Activate. Mass, Chief. 
<laughs> is this uh, like a lethal weapon spoof? Maintain a firm grip on your reproductive anatomy. <laughs> ah, I like how he's like, badassfully. <laughs> That's not even a word. Oh, it's so great. Um, uh, Christopher Lowe says, near here is an ad for the Blasto movie. The dialogue is great. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting through it. Thank you, Christopher. Irvin Chadwick says, like Captain Picard, Shepard needs a, his pet fish. So good. Call on your purchase. Good call on your purchase. Thank you. And then Man of Vorb says, uh, the indoctrinated Hanar's face name and soul name are a reference to Look Upon Me in Despair from the Percy Shelley poem Ozymandias. Ah. Fallout 3. Point Lookout had a reference to Ozymandias as well. suspected you had deviant mating fetishes oh god i would pay to watch this movie tell me it keeps going they know him by first name Coquettishly. Greetings, gorgeous scum. This one mistook you for cloaking defecation. Ah, you go talk. Me get your badge. Badass boy. That badge is the only thing keeping him from killing you right now. Ah, you be sorry. This one is already sorry. It will take hours to remove your olfactory residue from my oxygen diffusion membrane. <laughs> Second. You have demonstrated that you still possess a supportive endo 
An important thing to demonstrate. What? What the hell is going on here? Are you sleeping with my sister? Slumber would be difficult due to the energetic nature of our population. <laughs> Damn it. Blasto. That's it. You and me outside. Right now. Yeah, he's don't angry. Please don't hurt him. This one promises not to harm your brother. Spawn of questionable parentage? Bastard, right? No uh, solid waste excrement. Nice. And I loved the uh, the mattress springs sound effect at the beginning. Oh, just nice touch there, you know. Just kept going. Oh, that was a that was a mournful no. Me kiss you Monday. Coquettishly, you didn't say anything about attacking my brother. Brother. Oh, me no pay you. I may kill you instead. Apologies, but your men had to catch a spider. Blasto! How you find me? By following Lupin's sister. Obvious. She helped your men plan the ambush. You no kill me! Diplomatic immunity! Yes. This one made a promise to do it by the book. You may only be killed in self-defense. Ah! You no see my gun! Ah. You are standing on flammable material. This one has no choice. To this. Oh, oh, enkindle this. Nice. Rockland F says, come on, you know Blasto deserves a lore series, lol. Oh, man. The, <laughs> the saga of Blasto. Does it keep going? You do not retire for another two solar days, Boobin. Please refrain from sleeping on the job. Badass boy. What happened? We got 
This is the most brilliant thing. Damn it, Blasto! I told you to bring in those Forja alive for questioning. This one didn't have anything to ask them. You blew up half oh, and it re that's it. Okay, that's it. Wow, we just we just got a summary of Blasto Six, Partners in Crime, and man, I want nothing more than to watch that movie. Oh, that's it. That's this entire upstairs. That's that's all there is here. Okay, Gibson Cohen says, Seek cover rocks and happy hunting with that shotgun. Thank you, Gibson. We'll do my best. What's this guy waiting on? Wow, there's nothing upstairs. Okay, so this presidium is deceptively large. We've got two wings. Let's see what's over here first. Badass fully. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be imperiled if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. We are family. The extreme weather conditions may require technology that is not readily available on the market. Okay, so we gotta find something to regulate water on the Citadel. Yeah, heating unit stabilizers. CSEC! Well, that's it for CSEC. Alright. Meridian Palace. I can't help you. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need any model or store credits. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book for my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I don't even think we... Look, he's not going to leave. The sooner you refund him, the sooner you go home. Yeah, you're right. Let's get this over with. Here, I sent you a full refund. Really? Yes. You mean it? Of course I do. A full refund? Yes. Congratulations. The whole 15 credits. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hey, thanks. Okay, well, he's grateful that I convinced him to give a refund. Welcome to Munitions! Ooh, a Venom shotgun. Hmm. Please obey all local government restrictions. 7,000. Protective equipment. HDN Exo says the sales clerk and the customer are an ongoing joke from Mass Effect 1. He's in every game trying to return the same thing. Is he? Specialists are always interested in purchasing new technology. Shotgun ultralight materials reduces weapon weight by eight percent. Hey, all local government restrictions when purchasing I'll take that. equipment. Agor 
munitions for deals you never see coming. 7,000. I mean, that's not very expensive. Do I buy a Venom shotgun? Our customer service specialists are always interested in purchasing new technology. Oh, it's ch you charge it. Oh, I don't like charged Our shotguns. Our customer service specialists Remember, are all always interested made by in purchasing new technology. Will show us welcome to Super Teen Armory. Yeah, I don't like uh, shotguns that you have to charge. Uh, Freddie Simmons says not all weapons can be found in the field. Still, if you do buy a weapon, then find the same one in the field, the weapon will be upgraded. Okay. The Raging Krogan is freaking out. He's like, not the same thing. Different things. Get the Venom. It's an awesome shotgun. It's overpowered. Okay. All right. All right. Very overpowered. He continues. Okay, I'll get the Venom shotgun. I got it. There you go. Please. The Raging Krogan. Calm down. I got the shotgun. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian War effort. Oh, that's a lovely idea. I really appreciate management doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. Oh, you're bonded with Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Oh, well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Excuse me? Ooh. Oh, I didn't... Uh, Ooh. Well, I, I just... My husband is risking his life to protect us right now. I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless. Yeah. Uh, I'm so sorry. No, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. Anyway, would you like to make a purchase? Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Anything for our troops. I wonder if that's the Krogan Asari couple that we found um, on Omega, I believe it was, or was it Ilium in Mass Effect 2? Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. Alakite one pistol. 10,000 for a pistol? Really? All licensed huntresses may apply for a professional discount. Model of the Citadel. 1,000. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and take the model. Shoot smart. Shoot. No Sostra. Pistol power magnifier. <clears throat> Man of Warp says, not quite. Refund guy had a different voice in Mass Effect 1, and he was trying to return some Omnigel device in Mass Effect 2. Oh, ah. Okay. $10,000 pistol. Yeah. All right, I'm not going to get it unless the Raging Krogan hops in here and freaks out and says, get the pistol ox. It's overpowered. It's the best in the game. Okay, I'll get it then. Whoa, Eddie, what are you doing here? Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing. I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? <laughs> we can just tap out of this and be like, nope, nope, not touching that subject. Or we can say, uh, they pay attention. They'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades. <laughs> and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. Well, that's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. She's not going to understand that. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired <laughs> emotional state. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Oh, no. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. <laughs> Your company is what matters, we can say. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. 
And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity, but you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Well, budding romance. Oh, we got to see what Joker's got to say. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. Hey, Joker. Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and, oh, yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep. It'll happen. Once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. Nice. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. <laughs> Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. <laughs> she's Joker. Come on, buddy, be a little more subtle. <laughs> All right, uh... Looks like we can say more to her. I have noticed many displays of public affection on the Citadel. The rate seems disproportionately high. Everybody could die tomorrow, Edie. Hooking up is one of the few things they can do. I wonder if this is how the Krogan feel. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Okay, sniper rifle, magazine for the Proceeds pistol, piercing armor, sniper shotgun, spare the thermal clip. Adds a socket to raise the thermal clip capacity, increasing the number of spare All shots. Have been marked down with our special wartime hey, discount. Alliance Kodiak, purchase. Thank you for shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. <clears throat> yep, I'm walking away with all the ship models. All right, so this brings us to the other side. You've got to keep Jake in daycare. He should be socializing with other children. But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. We're in the middle of a war, and I'm just supposed to send him away every morning? We've got to keep Jake in daycare. He should be socializing with other children. I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen, do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. Do I remember them? Adam and Rebecca? I don't remember them. Man of Orb says that considering you gave the go-ahead for people to romance Curie and had your Nate sleep with Gilda Brosco in Far Har Harbor, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised you're going down this path with Eddie. Uh, I mean, yeah. The whole Gilda Brasco thing was just a joke. Like, But Curie, she's like a sentient AI. Uh, by the time we meet her during the events of Fallout 4, she's had 200 years to develop sentience. So she's pretty much a person. Hey, Liara! Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? Ethan says it was from Mass Effect 1. She was pregnant and didn't want to do gene altering in the baby. Oh, I do remember. Ah, oh, that was such a long time ago. But yeah, I do remember now. That's so now they've got the kid. Oh, it's cool that they're connecting all these dots. I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. 
And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. Hmm. Is this gonna have ramifications? I mean, we should do all of that, but we also need to relax. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Barlavon. Volus Barlavon. Where do I find that? Hello, Shepard. Cool. All right. Well, that's Liara, and that's the Presidium. I think we've covered everything here. Looks like we need to go to the uh, laboratory. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Oh. <clears throat> uh, I guess we can't, so we can go to the Purgatory Bar. Areas tagged of interest to you are highlighted on the elevator menu. One moment, please. By the now fish shop, the says uh, the Raging Purgatory. Krogan. Oh, Bar Levon, by the fish Welcome, shop. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. All right, let's back by the elevator. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll try and find Bar Levon. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. The fish shop, that was up here, right? Yay! Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Bar Levon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Oh no, a time quest! Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. Oh crap. Citadel Barlavon, journal updated. What's the quest name? Uh, that's it, Citadel Bar Levon. I guess we gotta do that one fast, huh? Welcome. It's not actually time, says please Ethan H. Okay, good. One moment, please. Well, Purgatory Bar, that's the last place before we explore Lord's everything level. that we Purgatory. can. Now, chat uh, told me that I need to be careful talking with Arya yeah, because... They, did that. they were refugees. Damn it, it's not like they had much left to start with. Lost their home, their loved ones, and some con artists wiggled them out of what little they have left. Can't believe they won't let us stop the bastard. We still ought to do something about it. You heard the commander. No proof, no arrest. I filed a harassment complaint last time, remember? Gotta watch our backs. Not much we can do with this new detail anyway. What are we, a couple of mall cops? Could have just shot the bastard when we had the chance. What are these guys going off about? This guy looks sick. They're not talking. Okay, VIP section of Purgatory. 
I know people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, the new regs apply to the whole Citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. Okay, looks like we gotta increase the power grid. Zach with an AK says, Liara and Garrus for your next mission, trust me. Uh, well, thank you, Zach, but what is my next mission? I don't even know yet. I wonder if we'll be able to get down there. Those Cerberus bastards had us. Assholes. Shit, they just kept coming and coming. And not even sure from where. Fucking hell. And poor Bilal. They didn't have to take him out like that. Brutal. 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 Hey, you ready to get this party started? Hey, Mel, you're, uh, here. Hell yeah, I'm here for the next 48 hours. I'm spending as much time in this bar as humanly possible. Yeah, we have the same thoughts. So, um, the bar's over there, and, um... Hey, is the whole squad here? Hey, guys! Um, yeah. We were going to, uh, have a guy's night. Ouch! Oh! Oh, that's sad. Poor lady, she just wants to hang with the guys! And they're like, yeah, we wanted a guy's night. Sorry about that. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally. Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. Wow. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Ooh, and off she goes. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. You will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. Ooh. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Well, do we really unite? The Blood Pack, the Red Suns, all of them under Arya? I mean, she's been cool to us in the past, but I wouldn't necessarily call her uh, a magnanimous ruler. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. 
They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. Oh, dear. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. <clears throat> well, well. Uh, okay. Morally gray territory here. But if it helps against the fight against the Reapers, I suppose we should do it. Storm Shadow says, Hey, Oxhorn, I've been watching your videos since you uploaded the Obtaining Free Fall Legs video, and I haven't caught one of your streams yet, so I'm glad to be here to see you live. Thank you, Storm Shadow. I'm glad you made it to a live stream, too. Man of War says that interaction between Arya and the Asari Counselor has spawned quite a bit of lemon thick involving them. Lemon thick? Also, the story of how Cerberus seized Omega is told in the Mass Effect Invasion comics. Cool. What's a lemon fic? I don't know what that is. Like a fanfic? An unofficial fanfic? But that's like the definition of a fanfic. Is that it's unofficial. What makes it lemon? I wanna I wanna see if there are any bachelor parties we can get get in on, like in Mass Effect 2. That was fun. Alright, here's the bar. Got some dancing going on. Can I dance? Oh, they don't let me dance in Mass Effect 3. Come on. Got to get some shepherd dance. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> I didn't mean anything by a loco. Uh-huh. What did you mean? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah. They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. I mean, I really don't care if they see me as one of them. I mean. Okay, so this is tricky. The not today thing is uh, Paragon. And the good idea is Renegade. I guess I'm worried about the long-term effects of this. I mean, they're here at Purgatory. They're having a good time. I want them to have a good time. I don't mind buying them around. Let's try it, see what happens. Freddie Simmons says, uh, noticed you haven't bought any sniper rifle or SMG mods. You might as well buy any weapon mods you want while on the Citadel. Mods work the same as weapons. Finding the same mod in the field will upgrade the ones you have. I see. Well then maybe I should. Be a pal, Ox, says Deathica. Yeah, okay, why, why not? I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres, hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Yeah. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. 
True enough. Cheers. Cheers. How is this renegade? Not bad, loco. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. All right. I'm just gonna hang here for a while. Oh, I can't do the shepherd shuffle. So sad. Damn it, morale is fun. The troops need something to bring back their life spirit. Remember the stories of the first regiment on Castellus? Outnumbered, knowing they would die, but they fought for the empire. That's the spirit we need if we're going to hold power. Maybe I can dance here, yeah. Look at that bartender go. She loves her job. Oh, come on. Let me do the shepherd shuffle. Oh, they cut it. They cut the dance. Oh wait, here we go. Yeah. Oh, the shepherd shuffle. Just just the way I wanted it to be. Oh, that's great. Oh, grind up one up wall, yeah. Woo, Man, she's just like, she loves that wall. She's like, mm, God, I love this wall. This wall is just where I want to be. Man, I'm exploring this wall. <laughs> she could feel all the cracks in that wall. She likes it. All right, uh, well, I guess we need to go talk to, uh, what's his name? And then, how do we find the rest of the guys? Welcome, Commander Shepard. All right, first, please select the destination. One Captain moment. Bailey. No, oh, wait, no, he's in the embassy now, isn't he? Crap. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Just running by to see if I trigger any more dialogue. So the Blue Suns guy is incognito. Hello, ma'am. What can I do for you today? Oh, no. Such a nice young woman. You remind me of someone. Well, I'm looking for my son. He's a soldier. I know. Please, Teresa, are you sure you don't remember me? Calling me by my first name is very forward of you, young lady. I'd rather you didn't do that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I must have confused you with someone else. Oh, no worries, dear. Now, perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for my son. He's a soldier. He's been gone for a long while now. This story gets sadder and sadder. Bill says you did trigger it and you ran right by it, did I? Fierce fighting continues as the Reavers occupy most of Palavan. No, that's a different side quest. That's Ambassador Dominic Obsada. Uh, I'm trying to find the Blue Suns guy. None of those are the Blue Suns guy. So let's go on up. Uh, talk to Burke. Whatever his name is.
Bailey. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the Council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. Ooh. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing, I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Oh, so we gotta go back to the Presidium. Ugh, okay. All right, well, we saw C-Sec on the Presidium, so let's go there. Freddy Simmons says you'll meet one of your favorite squad mates in Purgatory later in the game. Can't wait. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Have you decided how to tell him? Stop risking his life. He deserves more than that. I could record something, but I hate leaving hid messages. I always get flustered. Maybe you need a script. Or maybe I need to get him on a vid call so I can do it face to face. Who knows when he'll be deployed somewhere with an open comm channel. He knew it'd be hard to communicate when he left you here. She's gonna send him a Dear John letter. All right, let's see if our other Blue Sun Sky is up here somewhere. Welcome to Kanala Exports. At Kanala Thank Exports, you for shopping at we Kanala believe Exports. in a peaceful heart. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. All right, well, um, I'm going to go ahead and get the shotgun mods. Elkos Combine. If it exists, we carry it. Ultralight pistol materials. Don't be left out in the cold. Ask about our full service I'm getting low warranties. on money now. Maybe I should get pistol mods too. Ooh, executioner pistol. Only be for Ten thousand. Should I get the executioner pistol? I mean, it looks cool. Any opened goods can only be returned for storage. High credit. impact armor piercing slugs, although only one at a time due to its limited heat sink. Uh, don't be left out in the cold. Ask I don't about know. Our full service warranties. Thank you. Come again. Okay, C-Sec. Get the Rigger Carbine, says Ethan. It's a shotgun. I just purchased a shotgun. You want me to get another shotgun? Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. 10,000. You're making me spend all my money, guys. All right. Elkos Combine. If it exists, we Please carry visit it. any of our Elkos Combine affiliate branches for any and all personal needs. Hey, I remember you. Shepard, right? Heard you're fighting the Reapers. Matriarch Athena. You were working on Ilium. How'd you end up here? <laughs> nah. With the Reapers making noise, I figured it was time to get somewhere safer. So I moved here. I don't think so. I've seen some video footage of you looking at Liara. Hmm. Oh, right. Mm. 
Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Matriarch Benazio was, um... was her mother. Oh, she's not gonna finish that? You mean you were her other mother, right? No, I didn't pop her out. Hell, she's never even met me. Sorry, if you were human, you'd both be called the mother, regardless of which one gave birth. Well, I'm not human, am I? Anthropocentric bag of dicks. <laughs> okay. Liara would love to meet you. Why? She doesn't even know me from a hole in the ground. Benezia ran off before the kid was born. Besides, this isn't charity work. She's one of the biggest intel brokers in the galaxy. And she's got some shady connections. She knows. Like a boyfriend who used to work for Cerberus. Sound. I only worked with Cerberus to fight the Reapers. And you're not with him now, I know. If you were, you wouldn't get within a light year of Liara. Is that a threat? I'm no commando, but I've had a thousand years to learn to fight dirty. Nobody messes with my girl. Anyway, you combine her work with Venezia and... Well, the matriarchs might have already... That's not gonna happen. No argument here. I only took these crap jobs to keep the matriarchs happy that she's under control. Just as long as we're clear. Nobody messes with my girl. <laughs> Maybe you're good enough for her after all. I bet she'd like to meet you. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Interesting. We got Renegade and Paragon out of that. Can we tell Liara? I mean, she's the Shadow Broker. How does she not know? The bartender over there? The matriarch hired by the Asari government to track my movements? She's your father. I know. I never get to surprise you with anything. I'm a very good information broker. <laughs> and you haven't talked to her about spying on you? If I did that, they might send someone who wasn't as sympathetic to me. Besides, this is hardly the time for family reunions. Make Liara talk to her? Or it's your choice. I mean, I don't want to make Liara talk to her. Uh, I want to suggest it. But I don't have that option. Let's try it. Liara. Oh, fine. Can't blame the matriarchs for keeping an eye on you. I am not my mother. Mm, you did threaten to flay someone alive with your mind. I had to make them take me seriously. I wasn't going to actually do it. And you bugged my office on Ilium. That'd be the logical conclusion. Yeah. Well, some reunion. Uh. Jeez. But I got a war acid out of it. So. All right. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Pistol, 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 shotgun, spare thermal clip. Proceeds from all purchases. Magazine upgrade. I mean, I can only have two. Melee stunner. I rarely use melee, so I'll get a magazine upgrade for the pistol. For the best in the business, come to Casa. And a piercing mod. Casa Fabrication Weaponry has a forgotten I've seen many Batarian Neither refugees here, Shepard. It may interest you to know that they are much more agreeable when the hegemony is no longer watching. Excuse me, Shepard. 
I am looking through files and videos of human behavior. I have 1.24 million windows open, but your request is important to me. Please hold. <laughs> Jeez. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases. Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. The Acolyte Pistol. Uh, fires advanced munitions. Our selections include rare technology upgrades from the... Devastating to shields and biotic barriers. Doesn't pierce armor as effectively. All licensed huntresses hmm. may apply for a professional discount. Increases headshot damage. Increases power. Shoot smart. Shoot. No Sostra. I can't spend money on all these mods, Our man. Selections include Thank you for shopping at no Sostra from the Tardy Goods. I'm going to go earn more money first. Welcome to Agor Pistol munitions. scope. Jeez. Uh, Thank you for shopping at... Welcome to Cipertine Armory. We Agor appreciate your visit. Okay, where was... I thought C-Sec was down here somewhere. Yeah. There we go. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Who's that spying on me now? Ah, uh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. The new guy says, Ox, they have more to say. Just go a short distance away and then return to here uh, and keep doing it until it repeats. Uh, okay, says the new guy. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, let's see. Leave it in the past or don't threaten me. You have to move on. And I will. Once all my enemies are dead. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak-willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. Yeah, I mean, I agree with him. And it looks like my options are... Let her out or I'll find another solution. I'll try that. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Okay, looks like I can go back to him. And it sounds like she gave me all the info I need. I need to find this toady of hers, this second in command. See if he'll want to take a challenge her hold on things. M Michael Stim says, what do you think about the Outer Worlds 2 coming out? I'm excited. I love the Outer Worlds 1. Jared uh, says, hey, Ox, just dropping in to say hi. Looking forward to watching when I get off work. Have a great stream. Thank you, Jared. Will do. Did you hear about the chemical fire and those kids from level 824 that they brought in last night? Yeah, I was there when they brought them in. Shit. I am so sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. Look, if you need anything... I don't want to talk about it. Apartments Gnarl. Oh, it was that Salarian guy. Pleasure to meet you. 
organized invasion plan. I was wondering why he was up here standing at that door. And now he's gone. Oh, he's over there now. Quick, hands behind your back. We'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the Greek commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Nero. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. This better be on the up and up. Quiet. <clears throat> I have to look even more powerful than Crick thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Crick. So. Do you agree to Arya's terms? Uh, most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes! Yes! I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Okay. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. All right, done and done. Sweet. War Asset updated. Terminus Fleet. Alt Grendel says, hello. Ox and chat, I'm being fashionably late to the party. Yes, you are, but you're here. And that's what counts. Uh, Dragonfan209 says, that was Rupe Elkos, CEO of Elkos Combine. Oh, thank you, Dragonfan. All right, chat wants me to... Uh, eavesdrop more on the conversation between Liara and her father. Where was that? That was that was down here, wasn't it? Matriarchs aren't going to do anything to you. Especially in the middle of this damn war. My reports don't show much activity from the Asari military against the Reapers. Come on. You know how Asari work. Infiltration and sabotage. But against Reaper forces. That's... I know. About as useful as tits on a Hanar. Good thing we've got the Turians and the Krogan to do the heavy lifting. Our people just aren't built for the front ranks. Yes, I'm aware of that. So, that makes you a quarter Krogan. That's not how it works. I'm a thousand years old. I've had kids with Hanar. Don't tell me how a sorry reproduction works. <laughs> Wait, I have a half-sister who's part Hanar. I thought that wasn't how it worked. <laughs> oh, family reunions. something that's genetic. I have never wanted to headbutt anything. <laughs> really? Not even a little bit? Come on. I do not headbutt people. <laughs> Alright, fine. Don't go all blood rage on me. 
Or what? You'll tell the other matriarchs to order a hit. Hey, that's not gonna happen. She does not like the fact that uh, she's got Grogan an uh, Krogan ancestry, does she? Nazi and I were together for more than a century. You loved her? Of course I loved her. She was so smart. Always thinking. Nice, too. Hell of a lot nicer than I am. But damn that rack. I mean, even before she hit the matriarch stage. <laughs> you don't need to tell me everything. <laughs> hey. Well, uh, it sounds like she's got a pervy father. <laughs> that tits on a henar, I believe, is what she said earlier. Wow. Nezzy was the only one who ever listened to me when I said the Asari were stuck in the past. Only difference was I wanted us to stand on our own. She wanted alliances with the other species. Is that why? Why it ended? Nah. Well, maybe. I don't know. Mostly it ended because she wanted to solve things a smart way. I wanted to fight. Those aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah. I hear you've racked up quite a body count. But then, you are a quarter Kroger. Now you're doing it on purpose. Hmm. A little bit of teasing. So Nezi was her pet name for Benezia. It was pretty clear she was leaving. Can't be the wise counselor when you're married. Why not? Sex appeal. No species only pay attention if they want to have sex with you. So, you have to be available. Mysterious. What? That's not true. Shepard listens to me. And how many times have you popped his thermal clip? Do you have to make it sound so tawdry? If it's all civilized, you're not doing it right. Wow. Wow. Okay. Popping a thermal clip. Yikes. I made her promise to let you go your own way, though. No matter what she wanted. Really? I knew you'd be special, kid. Any daughter of hers. I told her, you're treating her like a baby bird, Nezzy. She's gonna raise one hell of a storm with those little wings. Little wing? You okay? Yes. Thanks. Oh, was that Nezzy's pet name? Benezia's pet name? For Liara, that's what she said when we confronted her in Mass Effect 1, Little Wing. So she got that from the father. Better to remember her like this than as whatever she turned into with that Saren bastard. It wasn't her fault. She was trying to stop Saren, guide him as a force of good. But she was indoctrinated. Look, I heard stories about the Reapers messing with your head. They're more than stories. I've seen it. Every Cerberus soldier is a Reaper slave. She fought it with every fiber of her being. She even broke free and helped Shepard on Novaria before she died. I was there. She said I'd made her proud. All this time, I blame Nezzy for it. A thousand years old and I still don't know crap. Thanks for telling me. Well, I guess I'm glad we did this. Just take care of yourself out there. Okay, kid? I will, Dad. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> I've called a few friends. Commandos. Eclipse girls who uh, owe me some favors. They're all yours. Just tell them where to go. You're giving me a sorry commandos? Well, you're too old for me to buy you a damn pony. <laughs> you're the best father a girl could wish for. Oh, that did it. A gift of commandos, and she's like, oh, thanks, Daddy. Come on. 
can't blame them. And it recycles. Okay, there we go. I am not my mother. Now Chad is telling me to go back to the commons. I had to make them take me seriously. I wasn't going to actually do For it. another conversation. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select one moment. Or the docks holding area. So I'll run through real quick, see if we trigger anything else. Docking bay E24. Emergency civilian housing. Can I ask, where were you when the Reapers... Would you shut up? I'm sorry? I don't want to hear it. You humans think you had it rough? You know what happened on Karshan? My apologies. I thought it seems to be a homeworld. Stop! Just stop! Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Harpoon gun, shotgun, smart choke, blade Stand attachment. For your people with Batarian State Arms. High caliber barrel, more trauma on impact. Please observe all cast restrictions when making a purchase. Increases accuracy by 30%. Batarian State Arms, defending the hegemony. And maybe I'll get the blade attachment in case I choose to do um, melee, as I probably should. Rockland out for the sticker tip. Thank you, Rockland. Quick save. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Bosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Araka's dead. There must be more to Araka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Araka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Ooh. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. Yikes! Charming guy! What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of him. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. <laughs> Good. Okay, so I can, I can save his life. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris' release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. 
I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Sane, you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. Cool. We can keep the psycho lady in prison. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Wow, I'm really annoying, aren't I? Okay, well, we've made some progress. Do we go talk to Arya now? Okay, so we need to go back to Bailey, I guess. And we have to figure out the whole General Uraka situation. Gosh, we picked up a ton of quests. Right, so let's go back to Bailey. Have him keep, uh, what's her name, in prison. Shepard, the council withdrew the release order for Sedaris. Arya Tolok, of all people, got him to do it. Crazy. Nice. You can say that again. Thanks for your help, Shepard. You bet, Bailey. I like Bailey. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Well, we don't need to go back to Purgatory to talk with Arya again, because we still have to figure out the Turian General situation. If you have a question, please consult... Man of Warp says, I wonder when Jonah Sedaris called Sane a toady. She was calling him a frog as an amphibian, or was she Various calling him a brown noser? Are highlighted on the elevator menu. Well, I think she was uh, tr calling him a, a willing tool. Um, rather than if you have a brown a question, noser. Please consult an Avena terminal for assistance. Michael Stim says, has anyone told you what happens to Kelly based on your decision last week? I only got a, a brief hint that I saved her life somehow. Are highlighted on the elevator menu. Right, uh, I'm thinking this is all we can do on the Citadel for now. If you have a question, please consult but an no, Avena I need to go back to assistance. the commons again, says Zy Zyphroid. One moment, please. Zyphroid says, go back to the commons, okay. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. We solved the Vorcha one. We solved the Toady one. I guess it doesn't matter how I do it. I just need to tell him about us. Wait. Us? You and me. He doesn't need to know that. Wouldn't it be better for him to just know that you'd grown apart? I thought I was supposed to be honest with him. Ooh. You are, but you're just being tactful, not rubbing it in. She doesn't want him to know about her. All right, so we can go back to CSEC and speak with what's her name to see if um, she's all pissed off now. So you're making money off this war. <laughs> are you kidding? Elkos Combine sells weapons, armor, and hero chips. If you can arm them and bury them, you never have to fly a Isn't that a saying? I don't think so. We are should be. General Oraka. Oh, he's in the courtyard. Okay. There he is. Commander Shepard. General Araka, I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes, neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now, reinstated. Oh, I remember him. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. 
Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Okay, so we need to go to a black arms dealer. Um, that must be Kanik at the Meridian Place Market. That's in six. It's just down there. Okay. So this is Meridian Place. The market's going to be down a few steps. Is it time to return to the Normandy? I'm getting propositioned with increasing frequency. <laughs> I'm just chatting. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian war effort. Oh, I really appreciate management doing that. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with a bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. So, what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with C-Sec, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. So we gotta go find something, some rare artifacts. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Thank you for shopping at Cipertine. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Remember, Armory. all purchases made by Agor Munitions will show in your credit report as AM Trading Limited. Oh man, I'd love to talk with her in the prison cell. Rub in a bit that we kind of solved the problem without releasing her. She thought she had all the cards. Right, well, looks like we've got to continue with uh, our quests in order to finish everything. Are supposed to send in more residents to help with all the new refugees. Yeah, they've been promising a... Well, we're luckier than most other hospitals. At least our budget cuts are minimal. Shit, don't remind me. My old job had the emergency ward night staff cut the half before I left. Oh, let me guess. You don't process as many patients as the day shift. I've got the numbers to prove it. Typical administrator who has no clue what's going on in the ward. Freddy Simmons says, read the description of the SMG heatsink. It's like it was written by someone who has a child's understanding of thermodynamics. I will when I go back to the shop. Well, at last, I think we can finally get off the Citadel. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. Last thing I want you to worry about is paying the bills. 
Just don't go too crazy with new dance classes, okay? I was in the drop, though. Can't get the girls out on time, and I was probably gonna go pick up an extra shift at work. Oh. Uh, well, we'll make it up to the girls when I get back. Dance classes, biotic gymnastics, whatever they want. Your suggestion to come out here was a good one, Commander. I needed this. All right. Well, I'm really curious about um, the new war assets we got. Commander. Omega, it's time. From Arya Tolak, subject, it's time. Shepard, I'm ready to discuss that pet project I mentioned when we spoke in Purgatory. Come to Dock 42 on the Citadel. A Batarian named Bray will be waiting. I'm guessing that's the DLC. Commander Shepard. Okay, new alien, Terminus Fleet. The Terminus Fleet is an assortment of mercenary vessels and pirate ships bound together by little more than common geography and a fear of the Reapers. Despite this volatile mix, the fleet seems to be functioning as one under the leadership of criminal warlord Arya Tolak. Updated. The Blood Pack's mercenaries have been compared to floods, wildfires, and other calamities. It recruits Krogan and Vorcha, preferably those with no regard for collateral damage. On the rare occasion when brute force is insufficient, the Blood Pack is willing to deploy weapons of mass destruction normally banned in Citadel space. Updated, the Eclipse Corporation specializes in smart security solutions, developing tactics around surgical strikes, sabotage, and electronic warfare. These mercenaries are supported by a sizable army of combat mechs and rely heavily on tech for support in combat. Spectre Unit Spectres are the left hand of the Citadel, enforcing laws and stopping crimes with galactic repercussions. While spectres usually work alone, the Reaper threat gave cause for these extraordinary agents to assemble in an elite unit capable of operating in enemy territory without backup. Spectre Jean Dumbau, while not their official leader, is the group's spokesperson. He has passed on important intelligence gathered by the unit to Hackett and the Fifth Fleet. Hanar and Drell forces. The Hanar have sent their warships to engage the Reapers to repay Commander Shepard for saving their homeworld. Though their navy is relatively small, the Hanar have also provided the services of their best Drell combat specialists. They are accompanied. They are accomplished spies, saboteurs, and assassins trained at an extremely young age. While the Hanar are normally loath to send trusted allies into open warfare. These are desperate times. Updated, a metagel formulated especially for the Hanar has been distributed to Hanar civilians and fleet captains. Alliance. The Alliance Fifth Fleet. The Fifth Fleet became famous across the galaxy after spearheading Alliance forces at the Battle of the Citadel. It was guarding Arcturus Station when the Reapers attacked. After a bloody and desperate battle, Admiral Hackett gave the order to retreat, sacrificing the entirety of the Alliance's second fleet to give the third and fifth the chance to escape. Wait a minute, we read through all that. Let's see what updated here. Updated, a pair of entrepreneurs was persuaded to switch from creating financial programs to advanced weapon targeting VIs. These are the guys we talk to and sell them to the Alliance just above cost. Kasumi Gato. 
Kasumi is wanted in over a dozen systems for sabotage, hacking, theft, and a laundry list of other crimes. The Alliance is willing to overlook Gato's indiscretions in exchange for her help with the Crucible. In addition to her expertise with electronic security systems, Gato can acquire important technology thought lost or stuck deep in enemy territory. No one dares ask how she acquired these items. All right, so this puts us up to 1313, but we're not even halfway on our way towards a minimum. And that's everything we earned while on the Citadel. Yes, Commander? That's all. Of course, Commander. Oh! Commander Shepard. My fish! I gotta go see my fish! Kelly gave me my fish. And I bought a few more, and I bought a feeding system, and I bought more models. Hey! It's my fishies! Eat up, guys. It's food time. Dinner, dinner. Huh. They don't uh, float to the surface to eat like they did in Mass Effect 2. Where's my new model ships? Oh, they're over here. Hey, there they are. It's a model of the Citadel. Space hamster. All right. Well, let's tackle a mission. Oxhorn check in engineering, says, uh, says Stefano. Okay. Ooh, are we going to get Donnelly back? Yay! It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Nothing to report. Commander. Nothing to report. That's it. That's all they say. <laughs> Need anything, Commander? Here we go. How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. <laughs> Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. The Red Bee says come down there often. we Will do. Now that we've got them back, we'll come down every time we finish a quest to see how they're doing. Now, we do a mission. All right. I think I'll try to avoid priority. Meet Dr. Bryson. I, I scanned. I, I went to every floor of the Citadel, and I couldn't meet Dr. Bryson. Is that something I missed? Okay, meet with the diplomats. Find artifacts. Oh, yeah. I need to find artifacts to get the rest of the um, Terminus fleet. Well, I should do that. Dr. Bryson is DLC. Oh, okay.
Signal confirmed. Wreckage. The wreckage of a fuel depot destroyed by enemy forces. Fuel can be salvaged from the debris. Reaper alertness is pretty high. Start scanner. Lost and found, cool. Intel weapon upgrade kit. Okay. Service the Dro says meeting Dr. Bryson is an option only from outside the Citadel. It starts the Leviathan DLC. It's one you can probably do anytime you want. Okay, thank you Sarvis. And then Josh Bunton says, Dr. Bryson's lab is only accessible through the Normandy when docking. Same with docking bay 42. Got you. Thank you so much. That's the Batarian homeworld. Uh, the Raging Krogan says, remember to scan each cluster for resources. Don't worry about the Reapers. You can go in and out of a system to keep scanning. Uh, okay. Well, I need to go there to find artifacts. War assets for resources. Lost and found, five of ten. And pillars of strength artifacts. Hey. A hundred percent assets discovered. Let's go to Vular. Uh, Man of Orb says, had only Donnelly survived in Mass Effect 2, he can be recruited, but he is devastated by Gabby's death. Yeah, I believe it. Hmm. I found something. Boras had acquired black market artifacts. Looks like this one's done. <laughs> Leaving orbit. Fifty percent asset recovered. Ooh, this one is going to be tricky. If I do one more scan, the Reapers will be here. Successful. Woo! We got out! Yay! What happens if we go back? <laughs> Evasion is successful. We only got 50% uh, in Vular. We should go refuel.
Where do we go to refuel? You can go back in and get the planet. I'm way too low on fuel. I can't do it. You only use fuel outside the star system, but yeah, I mean, look, I'm at 328 of 10,000. Fuelings Bay. There it is, a fuel depot. It's pretty pricey. All right, let me see if I can go back to Kite's Refuge or whatever it's called. Finish that up. Kite's Nest. Back to Vular. What the heck? Come on, guys. You can go back in, they say. All you gotta do is leave the system. Reapers eluded. Right. Well, we'll worry about that later. Okay, uh, I'm going to finish this Citadel quest. Go back in much later, says Gontaro Dim. Will do. I see, so that was Dr. Bryson's lab. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. After all, it's not like I'm the reason you're breaking up with him, right? It's the war. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. You said he'd been distant and that the war made everything clearer. That things weren't working. Yes, but meeting you was what made me realize how bad it had gotten. I just... I'm not the one who broke up your relationship. Really? Was it someone else who pinned me to the wall with her mouth? Whoa! Okay. <laughs> You're having a little bit of a lover's spat. All right. Uh, well, I think I got the artifact. So let's go turn it in and then see if we can get the right general. Now, the Turians and the Alliance are fighting for you. Yeah, so I'm thinking about volunteering for a double shift. Are you insane? We're hardly getting enough sleep as it is. Well, I'm not going to sleep. I might as well at least make myself useful, right? Damn, I'm tired if that argument makes sense. Maybe I should volunteer too. 
And we won't be the only ones. You talked to the others, didn't you? Why am I not surprised? Yeah, but I saved the best for last. Anyway, I know I left resources behind, but I think I got what I needed in terms of artifacts to complete this quest. You're back, huh? Any luck out there? Here. I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. All right. Josh Bunton says, uh, threat level resets after every quest or major plot point. I don't remember specifically. All right, thank you. Well, I got a ter uh, an update to my Terminus Fleet War Assets. So let's go talk to the General. Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavan back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. Okay. I think I'm done here. Let's go do another quest. Welcome, Commander One Shepard. moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. Red Bus says, little trick for re-entry into the solar system with Reapers. Whatever direction you are facing is the side of the system you will enter from. Good for quickly picking up items in Reaper-infested areas. I see. Thank you for that. Now. The Raging Krogan says, Ox, as soon as you enter, move away from the Reapers. You can keep going back even if you are chased just make sure to run from them and exit. Thank you. Will do. Now, we've refueled. Let's meet with the diplomats. Tiny Plutoid. But nothing else interesting around here. The diplomatic ships of the Salarians, Turians, and Krogan float far away from one another, out of weapon range. Messages sent by each faction indicate that they would welcome the Normandy as a neutral meeting ground for their diplomats. The fact that they have not agreed on a ship to serve as a neutral meeting point before now does not bode well for the negotiations. Doc. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. Hey! And I'm not just some junkyard Varen. You unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. 
I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Oh, come on, Rex. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Oh, come on. Really, Rex? Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians, or the Asari, or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The Genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing. Wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. Freddie Simmons says out of weapon range, they're in space. How can weapons have limited range? Look, it's, it's sci-fi logic. We don't have to worry about that. Well, it looks like either way, we don't really have a choice. This is Rex's demand, and we don't find an option to not give him that demand. The new guy says this is the mission you take Liara and Garrus on. Okay, thank you, the new guy. Well, if I have to agree to Rex's demand, I might as well do so with Rex's blessing. Saying that the Krogan deserve it. Instead of, instead of saying we don't have a choice. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. Hmm. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. Oh. He was on my planet. Testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt. Will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkash. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Whoops. Should I not have done that, uh... That renegade check? Alright, Liara. And Garrus, as the chat suggests. Are we gonna be killing a bunch of Salarians? I hope not. Okay, so we got some new shotguns. Let's see. There's the new one. Rieger Carbine. And the Venom Shotgun, also pretty heavy. Capacity. 
is lower than the Rieger, but damage goes way up. Look at how low the Rieger damage is. And it has zero accuracy. Why did I even buy that? I'm gonna go with the Venom. Smart Choke, High Caliber Barrel, Blade Attachment, Shredder Mod, Thermal Clip, Ultralight Materials. Brings the weight down a little, but not that much. Not really worth it. I'll take a Sparrow Thermal Clip any day. Accuracy, damage, melee damage, Armor piercing. Increases penetration and armor piercing. I'll try the blade. Everyone says I need to be using my blade more often, so I'll try that. Now, I didn't buy any extra pistols, did I? No, I didn't. But I got a bunch of new mods. Pistol piercing mod. Ultralight materials. Damage by 15. Huh. Magazine upgrade. I guess that's what I need. Uh, Juho Vitala says, A bully has no friends, says the Dalotress, alone after trying to bully you, Primarch Victus, and Rex, while you three go as friends. Yeah. Some irony there. Doctor's Dino says, I've nicknamed this game as Mass Effect Homeworlds, specifically because you can visit pretty much every homeworld of the Milky Way species. That's pretty cool, I have to admit. And then Freddie Simmons says, a bully has few friends when he needs them most. Pot, meat, kettle. Yeah, I agree. Some uh, thick slices of irony there. Use damage output. Spare damage does not work with Venom, says uh, the Raging Krogan. Oh. Oh, the thermal clip doesn't work. But it does increase my capacity. Spare ammo does not work with the Venom, says the Raging Krogan. Oh. Well, then I'll do the high caliber barrel. Thank you. All right, so submachine gun. Easy choice. Easy choice. Mantis or Viper? Weight goes down, capacity goes up, damage goes way down, so we'll stick with the Mantis. Piercing, extended barrel for damage, spare shot capacity, uh, speeds perception for aiming. We'll do extended barrel and armor piercing. Actually, let's see, we've got the Avenger, the Matok. Way better accuracy at the cost of fire rate and capacity. Way better accuracy at a slighter cost to fire rate and capacity. Better damage too. Capacity goes way up. Fire rate goes way up. Damage slightly down. Weight goes way up. Accuracy goes way up. I think that's the good choice right there. Uh, pre a precision scope. Uh, rifle piercing, magazine, or stability dampener. I don't think they really need to worry about that, so let's do piercing and... Increases accuracy? Does that even work? Uh, is that necessary for an NPC? Magazine upgrade, I don't think they need. So let's do precision. Okay. 
Okay. Mad Roland says, Ox, next time you're at the Citadel, use the firing range to try out the weapons. Like the Rieger Carbine, it's much better than the stats show. All right, will do, Matt. Will do. I've got four points to spend, but I think I was saving up for something. Uh, so I think I'll skip that for now. She's got five points to spend, or he's got five point, points. Let's see. A stun, ammo pier armor piercing ammo, proximity mine. That's pretty cool. Or Turian Rebel. Let's go with Turian Rebel. Bonus to weapon damage or bonus to health and shields. Let's do weapon damage. And Liari only has two points. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. <coughs> Good man, Rex. <laughs> Garrus is a... I suppose I can make room for you too, Garrus. <laughs> <laughs> Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Commander, uh, I have a Solarian look at him base go. sensors. Set her down. So surely the, uh, the diplomat told them we were coming. We're not going to have to fight our way through a bunch of Solarians. Yeah, yeah. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Whoa, Rex! Calm down, buddy! Rex! We have an unauthorized landing. Oh, I no. authorized you to hold my race hostage. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable for Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <laughs> I mean, he is a liability, I gotta admit, Rex is a bit of a, li a liability, but this means a lot to him, and I can't ask him to stay here. And if we insist otherwise? You'll have another war on your hands. If anything goes wrong and all bets are off. All right, we left that up to him. <laughs> I'm had a quick, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. What is that? Oh. That's the race of, Careful. uh... Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. One of again. the original Shadow Brokers. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials. Morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. DH says more weapons carried equals slower power recharge. You don't need them all. Carry a, a couple faves, mind the weight, and use that biotic charge more often. Thank you, DH. Yeah, that's why I only have two weapons with me, my shotgun and my pistol, to try and keep the weight down. I think I've got... Just enough to allow myself to use my, my uh, powers effectively. Matt of Warb says, Paddock Wicks is named after Bioware lead writer Patrick Weeks, who wrote Morden's character. Ah. Thank you. 
Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This whole planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention biolabs. Please prepare for yon specimen arrival. I right, got a couple of renegade, but mostly paragon there. Activate console? Please don't touch that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Agree with him or not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Who gave the order? Our superiors. That's all that matters. But they're gonna cure the genophage. Everything we've done to stop the Krogan will be for nothing. When I want your opinion, I'll promote you. Until then, stay sharp and keep your mouth shut. This is a restricted area. Please stay back. Okay. Ethan H. says, stay clear of that elevator until you've fully explored, uh, explored. Some make that mistake and miss some good interactions in this area. All right, thanks, I will. And then Alban um, Forsberg says, personally, I brought Javik on every mission, not only for his amazing combat skills, but also for his interesting perspective on things for someone who has been sleeping for 50,000 years. Touch it, says chat. Go back and touch it. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. Again, I would ask you to refrain from touching that. Perhaps don't touch that means something different in your language. I would rather not refer this matter to the human embassy. Touch it all you want. You'll never find out what it does. Are humans really so deprived of stimulus that they must insist on touching everything? I'm afraid if you keep touching that, you risk a diplomatic incident. Further manipulation of that object is grounds for further admonishment. Really? You must stop touching that. Once more, the Salarian Union formally requests that you not touch that. Fine, if you are so enamored of that object, then I suggest you get your own feces analyzed. Oh, so <laughs> I've been prodding a feces analyzer? We've already been down that road. No more. That's it. <laughs> was just trying to protect me, but no, I had to keep poking the feces analyzer. This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, They'd be dead. Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Salarian liver served raw. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like that. Besides, you'd think this is the kind of thing the Shadow Broker would have known about. Too bad I don't know him. Or her. I'm sure the broker was very busy. Mm. Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. My smoldering good looks? <laughs> There is that. Yeah. But you've never given up. And that determination's about to pay off. Yeah. Who would have thought back on Vermeer we'd be standing here doing this together? Pyro says if you take Javik, he agrees that Salarian liver is great. Oh my. Protheans eat Salarian liver. Nummy. What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. What a horrible way to live. 
It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best, saving everyone else from giant monsters. <laughs> Never going to let us forget about the Rachni Wars, are you? <laughs> the last time I was at the Citadel, I didn't see a Turian statue in your honor. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till this war is over. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. Mm, they didn't like that at all. <laughs> but the elevator's over there, I think. Got to steer clear of the elevator for now. You do know that if anything happens to the females, I'm turning everyone's skulls inside out. Just a fair warning. We're only a few Mass Effect relays away from the whole mess. You'd think the Asari could do something about the Reapers. My friend said there was some sort of diplomatic summit that the Asari wouldn't attend. Did he say why? Apparently they think there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. For once I agree with them, only a fool would trust the Krogan. Oh dear. Hey! Commander Shepard, it's Major Kirihi. I'd heard you were coming. Good to see you again. Sounds like you've been promoted. Yes, due in no small part to our mission on Vermeer. Hold the line. You saved my men that day. Good to see a friendly face, Major. Garrus Vicarian. Always a pleasure. And same to you, Dr. Tassoni. Major. It seems the Reapers have a way of bringing us together. Yeah. Hold the line. What a rousing speech. How did you get posted to this base, Major? I led the team on Tachanka that found the females. Nasty business. Malin may have meant well, but his operation was crude. Test subjects were unaccounted for. The females easily escaped his lab. What do you think about bringing the female Krogan here? Our scientists say it's important to preserve the females. Evolutionary paradigms. I say when people know you're hiding something valuable, they'll want to steal it. Either way, I have my orders. They'll be your problem soon enough. I guess we're both still feeling the effects of Vermeer. Yes, ironic. You destroyed the genophage cure, yet now it's the key to an alliance. Your standoff with Erdnot Rex is legend within SDG. I'm sure you saw Rex's entrance. Our colony's three systems away saw it. <laughs> yes, and he's rather angry about the security arrangements. Apologies, but better that than a Krogan with a shotgun wandering the base. Think of all the casualties. Our med pig couldn't handle it. Are the Solarians prepared for war with the Reapers? I've heard what they're doing to your Earth. I'm not sure any species can prepare for that. Though rumors suggest you're building a super weapon of some kind. This business with the females is part of it. I need the Turian support, and they need the Krogans. Which is why I never became a diplomat. Too much hand-holding. Leave it to the Dalatress. Security seems high. Are you expecting trouble? Our motto in STG is to always expect trouble. Failing that, create trouble for someone else. Our enemies have the same idea. Ethan H. says, if Rex were dead from Mass Effect 1, his brother Erdnot Reeve would take his place in the story. Believe me, he is horrible. He sees the women as property. Ugh. Nice seeing you again, Major. Likewise. And Commander, regardless of what the politicians decide, you can count on my support retaking Earth. Oh, good. You'd do that? Consider it my way of returning a favor. It would be an honor to fight alongside you again. Aw. Good day. Good man. Well, good Solarian. Major Kirby. Another incursion. Air defenses report unidentified craft skirting our inbound approach vectors. It's like someone's testing our defenses. Appears that way, sir. I don't like it. Not with everything else going on. You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. 
I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. <laughs> Rex seems to be having a good time. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the Genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my... In the future, we should let the evolution... Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. Right. I was starting to forget what peace sounds like. You'd never know that a war for the whole galaxy is happening right now. The Solarians can't stay out of it forever. Though seeing this, I can't really blame them for trying. They do have a beautiful homeworld. Save, says Mr. Virus. That I can do. I don't like what I'm hearing. What? There was an outbound comm traffic 20 minutes ago from inside the base. And? A burst transmission, fully encoded, with no identity signature. What? No signature? That's against protocol. I know. Someone's passing a message. I've got a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about this. So wait, they've got a mole? Send confirmation to the Dalatras that the exchange is proceeding. Yes, sir. And ask her for more warning the next time the Krogan leader shows up unannounced. Yes, sir. I wasn't serious. Should Maroon I want to tunker with raw meat strapped to your back if you do that? Oh. <laughs> then she'll record the Thresher Maws eating you as a warning to anyone else who challenges her. So, she's not a popular figure. It's time. Now take this elevator down and someone will... What's happening? <laughs> Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. <laughs> Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. Uh oh. All specimens are accounted for, sir. Hey! Shepard, excellent timing. Good to have you here. Morton. Eyesight's still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG. Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. <laughs> Typical Morton. <laughs> Helped female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encouraged political pressure to free female. Ah. You must be Rex's inside source. There we go. Yes, can explain later. Security warnings not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Good Females old have Morden. weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These didn't survive. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved it. Indeed, data safe, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to Genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. She's still here? Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, Genophage cure... Problematic. I hope Please he sings... be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? Goddess. Cleo? What she's been through. Erdnot, Rex, and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? That sounds like Cleo from Fallout 4. What? Have the Solarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? 
Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Then I hope you brought an army. Alert. Unidentified vessels have breached the perimeter. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. Cerberus? What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Shepard, it's Rex. Cerberus troops are attacking the base. Get the females out of there now! Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. <laughs> Objection noted. <laughs> now, please release Krogan. Morning, Need to man. monitor pod as it clears quarantine procedures. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Oh, God. Likely Cerberus opposes Genophage cure. Uh, Man of Orb says, in actuality, Morden synthesizes a cure even if you deleted that data. I see. So it really didn't matter what we decided back in uh, Mass Effect 2. You'll see Tachanka again. I promise. Get your elevator, Shepard. Subjects into immediate lockdown. They are secure. Watch us secure. We've got to get moving, Shepard. We have a problem. What sort of problem? Security overrides are responding. Something's wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. There. Try it now, Commander. Oh crap. Get back! <laughs> oh crap, he says. Is there another way out of here? On the side of the lab, and of course the exit. I can open it from here. Shepard. Morse is homeless, 162.3. Used SCG ties to secure station here. Gained autonomy in caring for Krogan test subjects. Females were obviously dying. Barbaric experiments. Malin's fault. My Shepard, responsibility to fix. Shepard, we're running out of time. We need to need get to out of here. to save them. No more. No more dead. Assault rifle extended barrel. Everyone's telling me to hurry up. I would have missed all of this. Shepard, it's Rex. I took the shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female up to the landing pad. I'll try to make life miserable for Cerberus. This looks worse than I thought. Oh my god. Oh no. Attachment. All squads, be advised, we're encountering resistance from Don't let them take cover in the lab! They've never 
had to fight a Yogg face to face. Ooh, a Yarg? Roman Adams says, so this is the first Mass Effect 3 stream I've made, but Ox, my dude, how can you cope with Shep's helmet toggled on for dialogue? Always drives me nuts not being able to see Shep emoting during cutscenes. Doesn't bother me, as long as I can hear it, that's fine with me. The Raging Krogan says that data helps, Ox. You will find out how later. Thank you, the Raging Krogan. Challenge them. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. Hurry, next checkpoint. Any mods that I left behind here? Any guns? Any loot? Now. To the next checkpoint we go. Cerberus isn't fooling around. They're capable of anything. Commander, stay back. Hostiles just down the hall. Is there an easier way around? You could say that. Oh, Major Kirihi! <laughs> oh! Why not have one of those? <laughs> Go, Commander! I'll cover you! Don't die, Major Four, Kirihi! One. Your orders are to hold position and block access to next checkpoint. Looks like Cerberus got some upgrades. Taking them head on may not be the best idea. Maybe try to flank them instead. 
Cerberus must have been tipped off. They got here too fast. Every war has its traitors. Spare parts? There we go. The Raging Krogan says Ox charged the shotgun at a distance. Oh, all right. Dragon Fan says there's a theory that the Donald Crest told Cerberus. Oh, interesting. I wonder if they'll give us more hints to that later. Freddie Simmons says you'll find a copy of Pistol Kira. Uh, uh, find a copy of the pistol Kira he is using. So be on the lookout. Will do. I'm headed up top. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
I like it. Scorpion, hey! Yeah! Can I put a mod in it? Yeah, it's already got the mods. Not Rex still waiting. Rex can't keep his hands off a fertile female. He'll be there. <laughs> I'll see you up top. We found the Krogan. Eric J says, Sir Cash. Also, I'm here. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> Mods and weapons and such. Shepard, don't delay. Please authorize final release. Can't leave otherwise. Right. We waited too long. Sever us back. Oh, really?
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heard you, Morden. Shepard, you must authorize release. Pod then transfers to loading area. Let's get you out of there. is awesome! We did it! Yeah, watch that. Still got Cerberus. Just quick. a minute. Cerberus here. What do you want? <laughs> Whoa! Crash to desktop? Really? No, it just alt-tabbed me out of it. Why did it do that? Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. 
We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. Here we go. Is this our first glimpse of the Prothean device? Edward says, when I run Vanguard, a cheat I use is to open the power's wheel after a charge. Hold on, it flew off the screen. I'll get to it in a sec. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. Uh-oh. Morton, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Acceptable. <laughs> we'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's Acceptable. hope the food's gotten better. Oh, what? I hired a great cook. I, the, the, the cook aboard the Normandy 2 had all of the supplies he needed to make excellent food. Oh, but wait. Yeah, Rex wasn't aboard the Normandy 2. He was aboard the Normandy 1. Yeah, okay. All right, now for your chats. Uh, Garen Evans says, When I run Vanguard, a cheat I use is to open the power's wheel after a charge. On console, it gives you OP bullet time so you can aim anywhere 